Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I am going to be doing a quick reading for fire signs. Um, just remember this is a general reading. Take whatever resonates for you. If it doesn't make sense for you, it's probably not for you. So don't let it like bother you, okay? Just know that that message was meant for somebody else. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Let's get to the reading. You have respect, admiring, kind gestures, polite. So maybe people are not being so nice to you and you're kind of like, now at the point to where you're like, no, you're going to give me respect now or else, like, I'm not going to be, like, dealing with you. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're demanding respect at the moment. Then you have helping hand. It's okay to give and ask for help. Um, so it's like, if you're needing help and you're not asking anybody, I'm sure there's people that's willing to help you. It's not going to make you look any less strong or anything like that, or you know what I mean? So just, like, if you need help... You don't always have to do things on your own. There are people um, out there that's willing to help you, even if you try to do it online, like have a little talk chat or something. But I do feel like you guys are going through something right now, and it's like, you know, it's okay to ask for help. I do feel like you guys give, give, and give. So it's like you also need to find that balance within that and stop giving so much to people who don't give back to you. Okay, so that could be another message here. Then you have pathway. Follow your own path. You do not need to follow another. So if other people are trying to put stuff in your mind, like, no, don't do this. Don't do that. You know, you can't do this. You can't do that. Do not listen to them. Do what you think that you should do, okay, or do what you know you should do. Don't allow other people to make that choice for you. You have Aries, obviously, fire sign. Um, powerhouse, leader, authority. So it's like, yeah, take that power back that you lost and, like, turn it into something, okay? It's like, stand your ground now. Stop letting people take advantage of you. Stop letting people take your kindness for weakness and do what you got to do for you, okay? It's like, take your power back. Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups. You are definitely um, emotionally cut off from somebody or something. It's like you don't want to be bothered with this person, even if you're with them or situation that you're in. It's like you're there, but you're kind of like you have your cup closed. So you're like not really speaking, not speaking, but not um, showing your emotions to this person. Emotionally closed off. Um, Seven of Cups tells me that you do have a lot of options coming up for you in the future. So it's like you may have like a lot of um, different skills and abilities or just a lot of like offers coming up for you soon um just make sure you choose wisely with that you don't want to end up choosing the wrong path and it brings you down um you know to another like uh rabbit hole type thing you know what i mean then you have the page of swords this is this is the time to think logically use your um mind okay so like pay attention to people um pay attention to their actions do not listen to the words anybody can say anything it doesn't mean anything their actions is what counts this is also a card about spying you may be spying on somebody um, through the internet, so maybe if you're with somebody that you don't trust, maybe you're spying on them, or maybe you have your eye on somebody from the past, or you just have your eye on somebody in general that you're kind of like watching. I feel like you do want to open communication with them, but right now it's just a thought. You're kind of confused about that. You don't know what way to do that. Ace of Pentacles, starting your own business right now. New doors are opening up for you, okay? So I feel like you're concentrated on your money right now, concentrated on your career, whatever this is. It's like you are, um, and this might be the reason why it's like saying powerhouse, leader, authority. You may be the owner of a business. Um, you have trapped. I do feel like you're feeling trapped, okay? You feel like you're stuck in a cage like this bird, okay? You feel like you don't know the way to get out. But it's like, um, I feel like you um, are finally slowing that confusion. I mean, not slowing, but um, the, the confusion is slowly fading away for you. So it's like now you're starting to realize that, you know, you're not trapped and that you can get yourself out of this cage that you're stuck in. Um, loyalty. You're somebody other people can trust. Other people can go to whenever they have problems. Other people look up to you because you're so genuine. You know what I mean? And um, that also means that you need to find people who are like you. Um, if you're hanging out with people who is not really treating you good and making you feel trapped in whatever situation that you're in. It could be work, it could be love, it could be friendships, it could be family, it could be anything that you're feeling trapped in. It's like you want to release. Um, this is uh, forbidden, forbidden. Let's see what this card means. Um, it's a 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9, so it's an ending card. Um, all, not all doorways are meant to be open. Not all relationships are good for you. Not all love is expressed and not all desires are realized. Right now I am saying no to you. The symbol for forbidden also reminds you that although you may feel pain when somebody rejects you, this is one of my ways of protecting you. 
I yep. So rejection is God's protection. So basically that's what this means. I may whisper in someone's ear to stay away. It is best even if you don't believe it right now. This is a symbol to move on and choose another path. So maybe you have your mind on this person from the past or whoever that you're paying attention to or whoever that you're dealing with in the past or, or now recently that you're feeling trapped in. It's like this is forbidden. They don't even want you to go down this road anymore. The reason why things are not working out and not progressing is because the universe is not allowing that. They're putting a stop to that. So it's like they're only doing that for your protection, okay? So don't you feel like they're picking on you because it might be somebody that you want really, really bad, but and when you get it, it might not be what you want. So it's like it might bring you back down all over again. So the universe doesn't want that to happen. Um, this says work through your fears. So whatever that you're scared of, especially with this uh, Seven of Cups card, having a lot of um, confusion, I feel like you're afraid to walk away from something that you're feeling trapped from. Maybe not feeling afraid to walk away, but afraid of the outcome when you do walk away. Then it says have faith in your dreams. So whatever business that you're planning on doing, whatever that you're trying to open up, these new doors that you're trying to open up for yourself, it's like have faith in it because if you have faith in it, it'll happen. But if you keep on doubting it and saying, oh, this is never going to happen for me. I don't deserve this. This isn't for me. You know, I'm not good enough. Everybody else is. Then you're not going to get it. So it's like you have to think. You know, okay, you know what? I am good enough. This is for me. I am this. You know what I mean? And just keep on thinking like that. Keep the positivity going. So that you are seven of cups again. You may be really confused, okay? You may be really confused as to what to do because you feel like what you're doing is not going to work. Queen of Wands, needing to be bold. Stand up, be brave. <laughs> Don't let those fears, yeah, work through your fears. And stand up for yourself. Go for your passion. Go for what you want in life. Don't allow things to keep on holding you down because you are somebody who's important. You know what I mean? You don't deserve what you're going through right now. You got the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So um, if you are dealing with a relationship, there may be you and another person, okay? Because there is two females here. Actually, there's three. So who knows? Maybe both of you guys are kind of talking to other people behind their back, or maybe this happened in the past, but I feel like, okay, there's more than one person that was in this relationship. Uh, but the Queen of Pentacles, you're focused on your money right now, focus on grounding yourself, focus on stability, getting your stuff together. Hold on. You're so cute, but shh. Okay, this is just saying, you need to get your power. The only thing you don't have is, you have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. The only thing you don't have is the Queen of Swords. You're not able to see clear right now. Um, you're kind of like in a mental fog right now. It's because you're confused, all right? So I definitely do get that with the Two of Seven of Cups and not having the Queen of Swords. You're definitely missing the clarity that you're needing in order to be able to move forward. You have the Two of Cups. There is a new offer coming in for you, whether this is a new job, a new love, a new... Um, house a new um uh, whatever it's like a new offer is coming in for you pretty soon so like you know don't worry your little hearts and then you have six of swords detaching yourself from whatever is not serving you anymore whatever is bringing you down whatever makes you feel like you're drowning it's like you have to detach yourself from this i feel like you're doing that especially with the queen of cups i feel like you are emotionally detached but are you mentally detached okay so it's like i think that's what you're working on um trying to get away from something let's see for the future the Ace of Cups. Okay, I promise from the universe that you're going to be able to live out your dreams. The universe wants you to keep on pushing forward to whatever that you're working on because it's working. You may not see the progress, but you have two sevens. Two sevens are spiritual numbers. Um, this is also um, a number of pro progression. So, like, whatever you're working on, whatever business that you're, you're bringing in onto the table, it's like, it's going to come through. Yeah. You're just patiently waiting. You're patiently waiting for something, whether it's in this relationship or in this uh, business. Maybe you're waiting on both for them to, like, kind of, like, take uh, action. The temperance card, <laughs> patience again. I feel like you've waited a long, long time for whatever this is um, to be over with. And then the last card is the Nine of Cups. Couldn't be any better. Your wish is going to be granted. So whatever you're doing, keep on doing it. The universe wants you to let go of this trappedness. It's forbidden. It's not It's not worth it anymore. Whoever that you're dealing with or whatever that you're dealing with is bringing you down. It's not bringing you up. It's not. It's keeping your power from you. When you do leave this person or this situation, this job, people, family, whatever it is, when you do leave this, you're going to get your power back. It might be hard at first. It might be emotional and stuff like this, but you're going to get your power back. You have a lot of people out there that's willing to help you too. 
um, because you also are somebody that helps out so, uh, so many other people. You know, you got people behind your back, you know, that know that you're genuine, so they're going to help you too. So it's like, you know, don't think that you're alone in this. You're not the only one, you know what I mean? So um, it is okay to ask for help, main thing here. But I do feel like you guys need to get your power back. Find that fiery energy that you guys have and go with it. Alright, so that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.